What's up YouTube? Welcome back to Tactical Advantage. Uh, like we talked about in the first video discussing this safe, uh, I'm going to do a, a series of short videos about how to get the safe ready for service, how to, to make it serve you better, and uh, just some simple upgrades that you can do that it may be cheaper for you to do on your own than ordering uh, the secondary equipment with the safe itself. So the first thing we're going to do today is install a safe light that actually puts light on your dial indicator. Uh, like I talked about in the first video, this safe is actually on a dial, not an electronic lock. Uh, I prefer it that way. Uh, I believe you can get a higher quality lock in the dials than you can with the electronics. And uh, it also kind of takes the nerve out of uh, having to worry about an electric lock failure. But what pitfall you get from that is if you're in a darkened area in your house, which usually safes are stuffed in a closet somewhere, in a basement, in a garage. Uh, there's not necessarily a lot of ample light. So uh, I bought one simple little product, I think it was around $10, $13, that's actually going to put light on our dial that, uh, so we could see to actuate the safe in the middle of the night. So simple quick vid, let's, uh, let's get this thing popped on. So again, as we discussed, here's our dial lock. Uh, we're just going to go ahead and install this safe light uh, from Canon. Canon's the manufacturer of this. And basically it's just a magnet that holds it against your safe with a little push button that throws a little LED light right on your dial indicator so you can see. So really simple, inexpensive upgrade. Uh, you know, honestly, I bought it off Amazon for like 13 bucks. Uh, but this gives you a good look at the, the front of the safe. Good looking safe. I touched on this in really the first video, Homeland Security Safe Company. Completely happy with my customer experience, completely happy with the product I got for the money. So as I go through, I'm gonna mention that a couple times because you know, there's a lot of information out there on safes and a lot of guys you know, are, are just looking at what they can get for the cheapest cost. They're not looking at the experience, uh, the sales experience. Uh, what you see after the sale and I was really happy with that so I think the guys deserve a little credit but anyway let's get this little safe light put on all right folks well first things first you have this small LED light again this is a uh, manufactured by Canon for one of their safe lines but it's it's really kind of a universal part and then basically it's just got a 2032 battery in the rear <laughs> and uh, it lights up one LED, run one red LED. So basically you touch the button, it starts up a lighting cycle that lasts for about three minutes and then it'll shut itself off. Uh, the packaging says the lighting cycles per battery is around 750. So that should really last you a couple years on a 2032 unless you're going in and out of your safe 10 times a day, which most people do not. And uh, again, it's magnets, got a small magnet, flexible magnet on the back. And really all you're doing with that is just lining it up over your mechanical lock. And uh, you've got a little light there, so if you come in in low light, you can still see what's going on. I'll see if I can get you guys a good pick in, in low light. My camera doesn't really like uh, low light scenarios, but we'll give it a shot to see what we can see. But there you have it. Simple and effective little red LED. Literally took 10 seconds to install and cost under $20. And, uh, handy little device and then what well, you just saw with the light going out you just press the button and you get another three minute cycle so pretty interesting stuff mm -hmm. 